Venus flytraps are the plant world's most famous natural-born killers. But how can a plant with no nerves or muscles move so quickly? The Venus flytrap is one of the world's most iconic carnivorous plants. Yet it is native to small areas of pine habitat in North and South Carolina. Existing in nutrient-poor soil, the Venus flytrap harvests the vital food it needs by catching prey in its jaw-like leaves. Each trap is actually a modified leaf split into two red lobes. These lobes secrete a sweet sap to attract insects. Flaring out from the trap, a curved row of teeth-like spikes interlock when the trap shuts to prevent prey from escaping. Several tiny trigger hairs stand on the leaf's surface. Lured in by the plant's sweet-smelling nectar, insects touch the trigger hairs and trip the trap. A hair must be touched at least twice in rapid succession for the trap to close. This way, the plant can distinguish between the brush of a scrambling cricket and the plop of a raindrop. With each leaf trap having a limited number of uses before it withers and dies, being able to tell the difference between a rainstorm and a tasty meal is a vital energy-saving system for the plant. It's these trigger hairs that play a vital role in how this incredible killer is able to move so quickly. Once an unlucky bug has triggered the trap, this movement is converted into an electrical charge which moves through the trap's two lobes. As this electrical charge moves towards the center of the trap, it opens specialized pores in the outermost layer of the trap's cells, allowing water to rush from the cells on the inside of the lobes to cells on the outside. The dramatic change in cell pressure flips the lobes, which snap shut. The whole process takes about a tenth of a second, faster than the blink of a human eye. Now imprisoned by the leaf and its jaws, each move the prey makes further tightens the trap making its situation worse. The trap now becomes a kind of stomach, as digestive enzymes are released into the sealed space. This acidic concoction allows the Venus flytrap to dissolve its victim, extracting vital nutrients like nitrogen from its prey. About 10 days later, the trap reopens, revealing the shriveled remains of this natural-born killer's most recent move.